Ah, yes. It is the annual kick in the nuts that is the Chiefs in the playoffs. You know it's going to happen. You don't know when. You don't know how. But you know it's going to happen. The Chiefs in the playoffs is is uh, something that you don't know how the rug is going to be ripped from underneath you. But it's, it's going to happen. Um, and they play the Titans this week. And I, I have a few things I want to get to, but first and foremost, I want to talk about Patrick Mahomes. Because there's a lot of people online and, and uh, I, I, whoever, there's a, there's a lot of people that say Alex, he should sit behind Alex Smith for another year. Um, I cannot agree with that at all. That does not seem like it would, it would be just such a waste of time and talent. And when we saw the kid play against Denver, all right, now a lot of people are like, oh yeah, he made some mistakes. He made some mistakes, you know. He had an interception. Yeah, Alex Smith also lost the Giants in the best year that he's ever had as a pro. All right, he's in year what, 12, 13, and he lost to the Giants. Like, I mean, you could, we can nitpick this all day, all day. Alex, Alex Smith has been great for the Chiefs. He's been a solid, unbelievably stable QB for the Chiefs, all right? But you know what? In order for us to take the next step, you got to dare to be great. And that's why we got Patty Mahomes, because there's that potential for greatness. He's got a talent that I don't think the Chiefs have ever seen a quarterback, all right? I mean, hopefully some team will pick up Smith via trade. Like, we can get something for Smith. Um... I, you know, I hope that I hope that we don't have to cut him, but like, it, I mean, we we got to save money somehow because Dorsey, old Dorsey, now in Cleveland, screwed up our salary cap so much, which is why he got fired. We're in a bad situation as far as salary cap, so we have to get rid of that. There's there's a lot of stuff going on here. If that wasn't the case, if we if we wouldn't save so much money by getting rid of Smith next year, I, I maybe, but I still think that that you just have to let the kid go at this point. Uh, he, he he didn't show me anything on Sunday to, to let me know that he wasn't ready to take over the reins. I mean, you got to dare, again, you got to dare to be great. You got to take chances. You got to, you know what you're getting with Smith. This was his best year. He had his best year, uh, and it took him to year 12 to draft somebody that was going to take his spot to ha actually have him play like he has a pair. Um, and again, I'm not trying to beat Smith up. He has been solid. I, I think that he deserves a n his name in the Ring of Honor because he helped stabilize this franchise when we were at our lowest point. The Chiefs were, and uh, I I just I can't say enough good things about him. But in order for us, I think to move on and take the next step, I think we gotta we gotta you gotta get a franchise guy. You gotta get a guy who's gonna be a complete game changer. That's what you have with Tom Brady. That's what you have with Ben Roethlisberger. Now, they're they're almost done. Their career is almost over with. Hopefully. Jeez. But, so that's why the Chiefs are, 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 are getting ready for ha to have, hopefully, have that franchise QB to set them up for the next 10 years of success. Um, so, I, I just, there, that doesn't make any sense not to start Mahomes next year. Uh, you save money. And also, you can you can uh, just get the kid some experience. I think he'll do well in the system. I, you know, he surprised me with how well he did against Denver. I mean, he had led a two-minute drill to come back and, and, and win the game. He had to come back in and win the game for the Chiefs. So, I don't want to hear that Smith should be the starter. Like, that. I just, th there's no, there's nothing there to, for me to actually think that that would be a good idea. So, anyways, let's go to my playoff predictions. Now, the Chiefs are, um, well, let's see. The, the Chiefs are, are playing the Titans. Now, if this were my first playoff experience with the Chiefs, like, as a fan, I would think, oh, we got this. We got this in the bag. But because I'm a Chiefs fan and because I've seen 20 years of playoff stupidity from this team, uh... The Chiefs, on paper, should win this game, and and it really shouldn't be close. But because it's the Chiefs in the playoffs, and they clam up faster than uh, uh, something that clams up. <laughs> I don't know. But 
it, they they just tighten up fat never mind I'm not gonna go there but they 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 just they really play so incredibly scared and, and that's all I've seen from the Chiefs in the playoffs with the exception of maybe against Brian Hoyer but it was against Brian Hoyer and the Texans and and, and if any win should have an asterisk by it it should be that uh, I don't know. I'm not going to poo-poo that. But so I, I think it's a big game for the Chiefs. I think it, it will go a long way to just get that monkey off the back of having all those like what they like five straight losses at Arrowhead. Let's see. I was at the Colts game in '95 when Lynn Elliott uh, decided to sabotage my childhood and missed three field goals. And uh, the story I always loved to tell was at the end of the game. We were all chanting, Lynn, 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 as he was going to, to make the, the field goal to tie the game, and, and we were going to escape with the win in overtime, but we were chanting, Lynn, 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 and then he, and he kicked it, and it wasn't even close, and we're like, 80,000 people simultaneously said the F word, and it was so cold at that game, my hot chocolate turned into a frosty malt. It got so bad for the Chiefs. That last drive, they took out Steve Bono, who was terrible. Who was playing terrible. I don't even know how he was the starting quarterback. I don't. How did Marty think that we could actually win with Steve Bono as a quarterback? It's ridiculous to me. But we brought in Rich Gannon, future MVP Rich Gannon, okay, <laughs> to lead that final drive to get us in, in scoring position to tie the game. And we couldn't. Uh, Lynn Elliott missed uh, the, uh, the last of his three field goals. Uh, then we lost to the Broncos at LA, and it was, of course, Ger the Gerbecker Gannon game. And we chose Gerbeck. Well done, Marty. That's why you never won anything, Marty. Um, and then the Trent Green against the Colts, the no punt game. The no punt game with Manning. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it? Greg Robinson was the worst defensive coordinator I've ever seen in my life. Then we lost to the Ravens. Didn't even have a chance in that in 2011. Didn't even have a chance at that game. Matt Castle. How we thought Matt Castle would be a starting quarterback in this league is ridiculous. And, of course, last year with the uh, the, the field goals. The game of field goals. Uh, where <laughs> Pittsburgh beat us with just a bunch of field goals. We scored two touchdowns. And they scored a bunch of field goals. And they still won the game. <laughs> oh, man. So, I predict that the Chiefs will... In fact, in fact, win and snap the five-game losing streak at home in the playoffs. Um, it's just been so bad watching them in the playoffs at home. Uh, and and uh, in the next game, on this next game, that Saturday night, I'm going to have... Man, I'd like to see the Rams win this game. I think that I'd like to see the Rams come out and, and win. I think they could. I think they have a really good offense. Uh, Todd Gurley's really good. And uh, and Jared Goff has uh, shown to be a, a really good, uh, solid quarterback in his second year. I'm hoping the Rams win that game. I don't want to see the Falcons again. The Falcons are just kind of there. Um, the Bills and the Jaguars. Uh, my friend uh, Harvey Munshaw will like this pick. Nobody circles the wagon like the Buffalo Bills. Jim Kelly, Steve Tasker, Bruce Smith. The Bills are going to win their first playoff game this century. The Music City Miracle. What? Yes. Unless unless something happens. I predict, actually, it'd be really funny if the Bills just announced they were going to start Rob Johnson this game. <laughs> oh, Harvey, I love you, man. I'm picking the Bills to win. <laughs> I'm picking the Bills in my upset this week to win. I'm gonna lose. I I I'm not putting any money down on that. Uh, so it, I got nothing at stake. I just want to see the Bills win that game. It would just be great. And then the P Saints and the uh, Panthers. I'm gonna go with. I like Drew Brees. I'm gonna go with the Saints. They have a really good team. I think the Saints will actually go to the Super Bowl. Um, because uh, nobody in the divisional round looks to be any good uh, at quarterback. Uh, with the, the Vikings and the Eagles. So I think that the Saints will actually be the team to go out of the NFC into the Super Bowl. Uh, and out of the AFC, it's, it's going to be the Patriots. But right now, the Chiefs, the big news, the big prediction is that the Chiefs will snap their uh, five-game winning streak in the playoffs. And if they don't, well, I, I mean... I, I just watched the game going. It's the Chiefs in the playoffs. You know what to expect. You know that they're, it's just something terrible is going to happen. 
And and once you realize that, it's kind of freeing. You can just watch and enjoy and enjoy the stupidity of uh, um, a- Fat Man Andy Reid. You don't don't even think about calling plays this game because I don't need to see Travis Kelsey pass the ball. I don't need to see Tyree Kill, who maybe have the worst arm in the league, pass the ball. Fat Man, no, no play calling, Fat Man. I'm Ryan McChesney, like me on Facebook and in real life.